to record this. Have we Sherry got all... and Diane all fancy up like Ooh. with their jackets? <laughs> I have like a jumpsuit <laughs> going on. <laughs> Good okay. back, girls. <laughs> okay, I was so... working on my back, <laughs> so I just jump. And I lost time. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got all the directors that are on. Uh, we're just missing um, Ashley Langevin tonight, um, mm -hmm. but she'll be back. She's at the lake right now. Ooh. Yeah, so we can all be jealous right now. <laughs> um, so I would like you guys to, like I said, you can write questions along the chat line on the side. Um, those questions will not be answered, probably not tonight, but throughout our journey here. It's a new journey we're, we're embarking on here. Fernanda, I think you said you would write down any questions of things that they'd like to learn. I appreciate that. Um, this is exciting because, um, you know, it's a brand new year. So happy new year, everyone. And, and yeah, and so what I thought we would do is, you know, um, there's power in numbers. Our national used to always say that. And, um, and I don't know, you know, we have Sherry's from Thunder Bay and, you know, Fernanda's from Ottawa and Jessica's just outside of the Ottawa area in is it Elmer, Jessica, in Elmer, Quebec? Yeah. And, you know, and Diane, am I saying your name right, Diane? Yes. Okay. Is, um, is it Orangeville or? Oakville. Oakville. Oh. Oakville. Okay. So just outside of Toronto, basically, right? And she, yes, and she's going to tell you, she's from a whole different area too. So I'm quite excited to learn from her as well. And, um, you know, we only grow stronger if we ask questions, uh, we work together. You know, my mom used to always say, um, many hands make lighter work. And I want you guys to know that this is going to be a great support system um, we are really, we had a powerful year. I think almost all of us have had our best year yet. Um, the directors, if not, you're going to have your best year. It's coming. And um, what a way to start the new year with leaning in. We're going to get down and gritty and we're going to lean on each other. Um, it's time for us to shine. And it's time for you guys, because I only picked directors that I thought had big hearts to work with um, that do Mary Kay the, you know, the Mary Kay way, things the Mary Kay way. And that's what's great about this business is that we get to choose who we work with. And I know that your director has heart or else I wouldn't have picked her. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are going to be in for a great training. I'm excited to learn from directors from all across. Um, Ashley Langevin's from uh, Northern Manitoba. And um, every week we've got the first 20 weeks all lined up on schedule. We may do a small split. Yeah, we got the first 20 weeks all made up. And so we may do some shuffling with some of the topics as you know they come through your questions. But I also want to probably, I will do some shuffling in regards to, um, we, you know, we all know we're going through a COVID thing, a new thing we've never done before right now. And I want you guys to be prepared when the second wave comes through. And I want you guys to have that best start when that second wave comes through. I want you guys to be prepared and you're not stuck and frozen. Because some people do freeze up and we don't want you guys to freeze up. We want you guys to embrace this. Um, I know some of us have had our best months since COVID. As far as I know, I've had my highest month in sales personally, <laughs> yeah. um, all because of this. So, but we had done the work beforehand 
to we didn't know what was going to happen but we had some god intervention that told us to start doing some of these things to get prepared and thank god we were and so one thing tonight i want to make sure before next week is that you have a vip i hope you're all on facebook facebook and i hope you have a vip group for your clients that's the one thing i want you guys to have done before next sunday okay if you already got it done you're laughing. Easy week, right? <laughs> so tonight, I what we're going to do is mainly introductions. Um, I'm going to get the consultants first to tell us your name, who your director is, and how long you've been in Mary Kay. And then you're going to get to listen to five of the directors here um, tell their I story and hopefully get a little bit inspired. Um, and that's where we're going to start tonight. So we're going to be pretty casual tonight, but I'm excited to hear um, stories. I hope you guys are excited to hear stories and get inspired for the new year. And raise your hand. Is everyone registered for seminar? <laughs> Yay! And the ones who are on pictures, I can't see you. I know you're waving, right? And if you're not waving... <laughs> You're going to be waving by midnight, right? <laughs> right? Okay. So um, how about we start with um, Ashley, you're at the top of my screen. There's just oh. a grid here of who I see here. Uh, <laughs> Ashley Rod, you yeah. start us off for the consultants. Tell us, oh um, yeah, how long you've been in Mary Kay, your other job. And your position right now in Mary Kay, how about that? Oh, okay. Um, I don't, this one always stumps me. Sherry, you're already laughing. So my director is Sherry Gray. Yeah. I have been in her unit for a year and a half, over just over a year and a half. But I've been, I originally signed up almost eight years ago. And I work full time in daycare. I'm assistant supervisor at one of the local daycares here in town. Single mom with two beautiful little girls that are six and ten. And I'm a future director with the company right now. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm excited. Um, I, That's great. That's Anything great. else? I don't know. I, no, I love it. I'm, yeah, I've had the best year I've ever had with Mary Kay in the last, like the last calendar year. Um, I finished my diamond ring a month and a half early this year and was super <laughs> excited. And then I felt like June, I didn't really have a goal because it was year end. So luckily Sherry did and I could push for that. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to start over like for a new year and just see what happens. Awesome. 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 Well, welcome, Ashley. I'm Thank excited you. to work more with you. Um, okay, who next is on ready? Holly, how about you? Take myself off mute. Sorry, I was telling my husband to check the muffins. Um, I just made 12 dozen muffins and oh. banana bread. So. Oh. Um, so my name is Holly and I have been with Mary Kay now for 14 years. Um, I, my director is Jane Arsenal, but my adoptee director is Carol Hinchcrocho. So um, yeah, I originally hail from BC. Um, but I've been out here now for nine years and my day job is with the federal government and I, uh, my goal right now is to get to be a senior consultant because I'm a consultant. So working awesome. my way. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Next on my grid, I've got Gail. Yay. Hi, Gail Pollard. Um, Thunder Bay, Sherry's my director. I've gone through probably more directors than anyone else. But, uh, and I'm wondering, is it me or them? Worry, <laughs> you can't quit. <laughs> um, I 
it'll be 24 years this fall that I started. Wow. And uh, it's just, and came in, moved into the city. Uh, we retired, there was nothing to keep us in our small community. Our daughter is here, our son of course is down east. But um, it just, this past month, it was really, I don't know, it gave me a boost or something just to talk to people and um, tell them about the product. And this one lady, like I know her, and I said, take the whole thing, try it for two weeks. And if you don't like it, no money or anything. Well, the neighbor that was just here brought me the check. And so I, did, uh, you know, I just love Mary Kate and just promoting it and making ladies feel good. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing, Gail. I'm excited to get to know you better. I am going to get the Miss Marlene to go next. Who did oh, you say? Marlene. I dropped my phone. Sorry, guys. I know. That's why I picked you next. <laughs> I'm Marlene uh, Fun Bay. Sherry Gray is my uh, director. I also work full time. I've been in the com uh, with Mary Kay for five, six years. Um, had an awesome month last month. Was able to finish my star. Yay. And um, also work for a tech, local taxi company dispatching and managing an office. All right. All right. Perfect. Good job. Congrats on a great month. Thank you. All right. Next, I'm going to go over here. I know this lady, Gabrielle yeah. from Calgary. Hi, girl. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Gabby. I'm from Brazil. And I've been living here in Calgary for, actually in Canada, for almost three years. And for almost three years, I've been doing Mary Kay. I'm actually now a um, start, uh, star team builder. Ooh. And I'm pregnant. I have a daughter. And I have another one coming. So I'm really excited. Awesome. It's your ear. Yeah. And I, I need and I want to be a, a director, so here I am. Yay! Awesome, awesome. Well, welcome, we're excited to have you, Gabby. Next we've Who got- your amazing director? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's Fernanda, Fernanda. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next, we have Sherry Kirkpatrick, Papano. I forget what I'm supposed to say, so I'll just wing it and hope that I got all the parts I'm supposed to include. Um, so my name's Sherry. I've been in Mary Kay now for 13 years. How long have I been married? A little bit, a little bit longer than I've been in Mary Kay. Um, yeah, probably 13 years. Um, and I'm sensing a theme like this year was a lot of your reflection for me and uh, pushing through some barriers that I had been struggling with in the past. So I'm really proud of myself this year and I'm so looking forward to this next year because I know it's just going to be, uh, well, it can't get any crazier. Let's, let's be honest, 2020 mm -hmm. has been a little bit nuts. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of like, if I can do, if I can push through with, for gosh sakes, a pandemic, like there's, I'm good. <laughs> like nothing, nothing can hold me back anymore. If I can do that, then, then I'm golden. So I am, uh, like some of the others have said, uh, directorship is also on my goal list for this coming year. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. And Sherry, your director is out of where? Jerry's oh, right. From. Yes. See, I knew I was going to forget something. That's okay. Uh, so my director is actually Jerry Pierce. She's out of Sault Ste. Marie. And I'm adopted into the lovely Carol Hinch Kurtos unit. So I'm very thankful mm -hmm. to be able to participate in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jerry's a wonderful person. That's for sure. All right. Next I see on my screen here is the beautiful Heather Larrabee. Oh, I just got a stink eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My name's Heather. I'm from Prescott, Ontario. Um, single mom, two kids. I've been in Mary Kay going on my fourth month, and my director is Carol. 
And so. she finished her first month as Emerald Star, right? Yes. Emerald Star, first month. Yep. As a consultant. Yeah. Amazing. She did amazing things. Um, next, we have Katarina. Is that right? Are you able to unmute yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Karina. Um, I don't speak too much English, so I'm. Um, I made Mary Kay's just two months ago, so I'm start. Yeah, so, I don't know. More can I? That's okay. Do you have another job, Katarina? No, uh, at the time I'm at home with my two kids, so. Wonderful. That's awesome. That's a big job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, she just started, like uh, she said, two months ago, and she also have uh, finished her star consultant as a uh, emerald. So I'm very proud of her. Ah, awesome, awesome. All right. And I take it Diane is your dir lovely director then. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then the last one I see on here is Vivian. Uh, hi, Vivian. Can't hear you. Yeah. Can't hear you, Vivian. Okay, yeah, we can't hear you, Vivian. Who's who's her her director? Do me. <laughs> okay, Diane, do you want to just do a quick introduction then? Sure, um, Vivian. She just signed her agreement today. Oh, <laughs> so awesome! Can you hear me? So happy to see. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I started today my first meeting. Uh, uh, in 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 now is now. Outside Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I I I'm, I cite Brazil. I'm from Brazil. I live in in Canada six months, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm happy today because it is big opportunity for me. Awesome. Well, welcome. Happy anniversary. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, my my directors is Diane Diane yeah. and uh, Katarina is the uh, uh, it's opportunity for me. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, and then I do see one a Galaxy A twenty just popped on, but um, not too sure. I don't have a name for that one. Okay. All right, so we are going to get started for, with the directors. And I am going to put a time limit on, guys, because I don't know if you guys know, some of us directors can be a little bit winded. Um, and so, directors, three things I want to make sure you guys hit is how long you've been in Mary Kay, if you, what you did before, or if you're still working another job. Um, your highest commission in one month, and how many cars. Okay, so make sure you hit home on those. Um, who shall we start with? Sherry, want to start? I like to push people out of their comfort zone. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> well, I'm very, very excited to um, be asked to join this group. Uh, my name is Sherry Gray. I've been in Mary Kay since 2002, so 18 years. Been a director for eight. Um, I Actually, this July was eight years for me. So um, it's been one amazing ride that I've had, and I know it's only going to get bigger. Um, I've been married 29 years, 
two kids, three grandkids, another one on the way. My son's having another one in another three weeks. So a grandma of four, um, love it. Um, how long, yeah, I told you. Um, what did I do before Mary Kay? Well, before Mary Kay, um, I worked in the bush. I measured wood because I live in a small town just outside of Thunder Bay. So about two hours east of Thunder Bay. Um, the population here is, well, I'll give you an estimate. There's six kids in our school. So um, we have two teachers and six kids. So um, yeah, it's a very small population. Um, yeah, when I started Mary Kay, I worked in the bush and all I did was work with uh, men. I was the only female. And so I worked with about a hundred men. And um, when I joined Mary Kay, the reason I joined Mary Kay was because um, Somebody said I couldn't do it, and I loved the product. So the girl that uh, used to come to Opsalish, drive all the way to Opsalish, she thought it was forever, drive two hours, um, tried to convince me for two or three years to join, and I would not join because I'd been in a, lots of different uh, direct selling companies. So finally, one night, she convinced me. I'll never forget this day. We lived in a small little trailer. I walked into the living room, and I said to my husband, can I borrow 125 bucks? I'll pay you back because... Um, that's how much the starter kits were back then. And he said, what are you doing now? I said, honestly, I'm going to borrow it. I'll pay you back. Well, I paid him back the $125 and I've never, ever looked back at my Mary Key career because it's changed our lives. Um, the opportunity, when I go in to tell you the biggest director's ch uh, check was last month. I just looked before I got on this call and it was over $6,700. Like, unbelievable. Um, we had the biggest month last month um, as a unit. Um, I've really started to work with my unit thanks to Carol. Um, she's never given up on me. I've known Carol for a number of years. We've roomed together at seminar and I got to room with Fernande last year. And I've learned a lot from them. Um, if you're just starting now or if you've been in this for 20 years, it doesn't matter. You need to set a goal and, and never give up on it because in this business, you can. And I had a lot of people that have never given up on me, including my husband. Um, mm -hmm. He's never given up. He's seen the change in me and the money that Mary Kay has brought to my family because the first car that I ever earned, I took the cash and because um, I earned it as a consultant, you could take the car back then. But um, my husband had already gotten me a vehicle to do Mary Kay. So I took the money and I bought him. He always wanted uh, a 1967 Camaro or whatever it was. A car is a car to me. And so I went out and bought it from that. And I paid for his car so he could have it with my Mary Kay money. And I can go on and on and on what this company has given to me. Um, it's a company that stands behind us all 100%. And we're a bunch of women trying to help other women. And the sisterhood that I've gained, um, even in my unit, um, is is unbelievable. So, like I said, whether you're starting today or been in it for 20 years, there's a lot of growth that you can do in this company. Yes. And don't be afraid to mark down goals and set dreams mm -hmm. because they do come true. Because my unit never gave up. And we earned the Chevy Equinox um, last month. We finished over 320,000 last month. Like it, it, it was the best year that we've ever had, but I couldn't have done it without each and everybody in my unit and the sister directors that really pushed me through and never gave up on, on me. So is that about it, Carol? Yeah, what, car, what number of car is that for you? I knew you were gonna, I think this is my, Fifth? Sixth? I awesome. don't know. Yeah, two, one, two. Three. I think it's my fifth. Awesome. I couldn't awesome. find that on the, uh, the site before I got on here because I knew you were going to ask me, so I was trying to figure it out. I think this is my fifth card. That's awesome. And, you know, Sherry's an amazing seller. We're going to learn lots from her. She's been in, what, the top three before, right, Sherry? Yeah. In 2010, I was uh, the top three of sales of all of Canada. And I think I've been in the top 20 as directors most of the time, so. Awesome. So we're going to learn lots from her. I hope you guys are excited.
She is like a selling queen up there in Northern Ontario. All right. Okay, so next, Diane, do you wanna go next? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is really pushing me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I'm from Brazil, so my name is Diane Magalhães. Uh, I started my Mary Kay business back in 2015, in February 2015. Uh, in December 2015, the same year, I became a director um, and I got my first career car, my first diamond ring. <laughs> so it was very exciting because uh, I'd say it was against all the odds. I was with a small child, like five years old. My ex-husband wasn't supportive at the time. And um, I was living two hours away from Toronto. No English at all at the time. So it was really, really tough for me. But I decided that I want to do it. And my why it was so strong that I was like, I have to. And in Mary Kay, we can do whatever we decide to do. So I did it. Uh, after that, it's been like great. Um, my personal life, it was kind of messy because I went through a very abusive relationship. And um, in the middle of that, like working my commission check at the time, it was more than 3000. I was so excited as a new director, bringing my daughter from Brazil. So it was everything so exciting for me. But at the same time, when I was looking at my personal life, everything it was falling apart. So um, I went to a shelter with my both kids what? without a penny. This is but big. when we do Mary Kay, you just work and you can rebuild it. You can reinvent yourself. You can just do it all again. So in my first month in the shelter, it was one of the best months in Mary Kay because I just focused so much on my business and I was like, I am unstoppable. Nothing's going to stop me. So I did it. So after that, I was like taking care of my kids and also working, doing a lot of stuff. I decided to go to college. So then I started speaking English um, and has been so great because then I have discovered like how amazing is the sisterhood we have in Mary Kay, how great, how awesome is all these people in the head offs, like get, standing by us and helping us all the time. So after that i just decided i have to do more and more so after that i did a core of sales um i also got like i won the trip to bahamas last year and man it's just so amazing this this business and how the change that it brought to my life like i am a totally different new person um my kids are so proud of me like sometimes i just you know like as a human being we just feel like kind of weak sometimes and they're like mom you have to remember why you started so this quote and all this these things that i'm teaching them that they are coming back to me when they feel like mom is getting weak now so it's just amazing because we can focus on what we want to grow so when carol said about this group i was so excited because i was like it is everything that I need to get out, to step out of my comfort zone, because Fernanda, she tried her best, but she speaks Portuguese as well. So I'm like, it's not that amazing. She's my best friend. So, <laughs> but when someone else comes and they show you, they believe in you, this is amazing. This makes you move on. So when Carol said she believed, I mean, like everybody has a great year, even though we are in the pandemic, and she believes in each and every one of us. So this makes me so happy to see like that you guys understand the pain we have, understand the weakness we have, but still believing that we can go more. So this is just amazing. And oh, my commission check now, it's uh, more than 4,200 a month. So I'm very happy with that <laughs> and keep working. Welcome guys, I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you, Carol. Oh, thanks, Diane. And we're so excited. And I don't know if she, I don't think she mentioned, but her national. Do you want to tell them who your national is? My national is Diana Polanco. Yeah, big, and, big. And I want at least a minute because I wrote something yesterday. We had a meeting with her and it's so beautiful. If you want, I can say now or I can leave to the end. How about, that'll be our inspiration at the end. How about that? Perfect. Okay, thanks so much.
I'm excited because Diana is a huge national in the States. And that's what's great about this is that we're going to learn from all different areas. Yes. All right. Um, Fernanda, Fernanda, you're going to go up next. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Fernanda, and I'm also uh, from Brazil originally, but I used to say uh, my passport tells me I am from Ottawa, Ontario, so <laughs> I am from Ottawa. <laughs> I moved to Canada uh, 15 years ago, and uh, I joined Mary Kay uh, in 2012, February, January 2012. I became a director a year after that. I have two kids, uh, six and eight years old. When I joined my daughter, my oldest daughter was four months only, just a baby. So I did this business with a baby, breastfeeding and pregnant again. Uh, for the second time and uh, my daughter I had two in diapers at the time I also had um, two offspring directors that came out of me also from Brazil uh, in Montreal at the time when I became a director I had one DIQ and then another DIQ right after I have earned four cars uh, we're in the fourth car and qualification actually this month uh, for the four cars so far. Before Mary Kay, I used to, uh, I'm a physiotherapist uh, in real life in Brazil, but here I work with, uh, as an administrative assistant for eight years for a private company. I quit my job after doing Mary Kay for one year because I doubled my income. And then six months ago, I have decided to do a, another part-time job because why not? I have so much extra time right? <laughs> in my hands. So I work part-time uh, with a chiropractor. Uh, it's been six months now and I am helping my husband to buy another house. So we're speeding up the process of paying our debts and save money. And during COVID, it was in my eight years of Mary Kay, it was the most amazing time in my career. I sold in two months over 12,000 uh, in products. Uh, so it was like something that I was not expecting. But as Carol said, I think God uh, gave us instructions before COVID to prepare us to start doing live videos on Facebook and getting out of the comfort zone and uh, doing like uh, virtual parties even before everybody else was doing. We already have all the plan and everything prepared for it. So I just jumped for me. Uh, it was for some people it was like a tragedy. For me, it was an opportunity. I look as an opportunity and I took and I run with it. So I love 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 this quarantine time and i hope we can go back to quarantine again <laughs> without the sickness but i have to say i just love to do this out of my house without leaving my kids with anyone and it was such an enjoyable time and uh, my highest check was seven thousand five hundred uh for one month now not counting my sales and uh, yes, my goal is to grow Ontario <laughs> and the rest of Canada because I have a team all over the place. So thank you, well, Carol. And congrats. Fernanda just earned her first uh, court of sales ring as well. Yes, I did. Just sure. like uh, who was saying, I, I think it was Ashley. I earned a month before without doing any counting or any tracking. <laughs> Uh, you will know very early from me, uh, I don't track anything and I just do the job. And when it happened, I was like, oh my God, I already finished. <laughs> I had no idea. So it was a, a good surprise uh, to see that I was so involved in doing the business and doing what we're supposed to do that stuff happened just because of you keep going, right? So it was amazing to see the results. Awesome. So yay awesome. to quarantine. <laughs> yay to quarantine. All right. 
Thank you, thank you. And thank next you. up, we have um, our newest director. Uh, she's also, I'm very proud to say, my first offspring, Jessica. And um, you guys are, she's also bilingual French. So if you guys have some French consultants, she's also another girl that you can tag on to. And uh, I'm going to let Jessica introduce herself. All right, so um, I'm excited to be with you today. I know this is going to be an amazing experience for everyone. We get to learn so much, and I'm excited to meet new directors, like, because I just started uh, Mary Kay February, uh, not last February, so about a year and a half ago. Um, and then eight months later, I debuted as a new director, and so in September. Uh, so learning and meeting new women is totally something that I love doing. Um, so... Yeah, so I started Mary Kay um, kind of just like that. I was really sick. I actually am a certified chef, pastry, and um, like cooking as well. Um, and then I got really sick. I couldn't move my hands anymore. I started to lose my hair and everything. So I was not working for four months. And um, I didn't know really what I was going to do because I didn't know if I wanted to get a house um, or and kids or go back to school because um, I grew up in the projects. I and my parents didn't really have the means and they weren't really there all the time. So I moved out very young and put myself through school and that's not something I wanted to do again. Um, working in a man's world is very degrading. Um, I know a lot of you, I know Sherry was in a man's world too and they always uh, say to you like, oh, you talk too much or you don't know what you're doing and things like that. So it's not very rewarding, but um, that's the passion I had. And then when someone tells you that you can't do what you're very passionate about really puts you in a spot in life where you don't really know what to do, especially since everybody um, thought it was a men's world and I wouldn't succeed. So they were kind of waiting for me to fail. So when I told my family and friends that I couldn't be doing that anymore, they were like, well, I told you so, so why'd you do that, right? So anyways, um, my husband now so we got engaged and then that's really when I decided well what was I going to do and um, my mother-in-law she said why don't we go to the UI center and I didn't know how to put mascara on I didn't even know what the first thing about makeup um, and she brought me to the bridal show and I saw Mary Kay after a couple booths and uh, at the show I didn't know if I was gonna go or not because I was like I don't even know how to put mascara I don't know how to talk to people to women especially right so I decided to um, go for it and it would be fun for my girlfriends and that's what uh, uh, I saw Carol and I was like she seems like a nice person so I'll go write my name and she called me a few months later actually she texted me and I looked at my husband I was like who is this person and then I ended up going to uh, <laughs> I she actually convinced me to go to a Mary Kay like uh, for brides and we had so much fun just seeing the connection of women getting their first pampering and I had some friends I, I still talked to one of the girls that were there um, so it was really fun and um, she talked about her story and very it touched me a lot too and um, I decided to start my business that day but I didn't have enough money to start my business and my husband actually came with me because I was a little bit like not knowing what I was going to do right so I go across the across the hall and I ask him hey can I because I only had 33 dollars so I asked him to see if I could borrow some money and he was very supportive and yeah I paid it back obviously um and then that's pretty much where it started I ended my first quarter with uh diamond um for my star and um recruiting for me is really my biggest strong suit because um, there's so many women out there that are very um, shy and they don't really know what to do and I feel like everybody deserves to put a smile on their face. Mary Kay has given me so many options. I finished paying my student loans because of it. Um, I got married last October as well and Mary Kay paid for all of it and right now we're actually on track for our car. Our goal is September 30th um, this, this coming year. Um, which is super exciting and um, my highest commission was 2700 and uh, yeah I think I touched all the points that I had to say. I know we're going to get to talk a little bit more eventually. Oh my senior sales director is Carol hinge Um Yeah that's, that's about it. Awesome and I think I'm not too sure if she mentioned for all the newbies that are brand new she joined in February 2019. I'm not too sure if she mentioned that. So just, it took her nine months to become a director. 
Okay, so uh, for those that, uh, was it Vivienne that just started today? Um, big things, big things can happen as long as you're willing to put in and she was willing to put in the effort and, uh, and uh, just run with it. No fear. Well, she had a little bit of fear, but um, she knew what she wanted, right? She knew what she wanted. Um, so thank you, Jessica, for sharing. And um, Ashley Langevin, I, I just know a, just a couple of things. I, I did not get time to print off her list actually, but she is joining us from Northern Manitoba. So she, I can't remember what week she is training, but um, she uh, joined Mary Kay when she was 19 years old. And I can't remember if it's 14 years she's been in now, Sherry, do you think? Yeah, I think she's been in 14 years now. Um, she also is a car driving unit, has done court of sales many times. Um, court of sharing. Court of sharing, double star. I think she's um, been a director for 14 years. Okay, so maybe she's been in a little bit longer than that. I, I know she was like the youngest yeah. director yeah. when she debuted at the yeah. age of 19. Uh, I'll, I'll never forget that seminar because everyone in our, she's in our uh, Girl Betty area and I remember us going to seminar and everyone's like, there's the newest director and she's only 19 and we were all like checking her out, right? So um, she has a heart of gold and uh, she's a rancher as well. I'm not too sure if she's doing anything else right now. She's got two young kids as well. And um, she's got some phenomenal things to share with us too, because I know she also has moved a couple times as well. So she'll be great too to tell us how to work in other, other areas when you pick up and move. Um, so uh, obviously by now you know my name's Carol Hinchcoteau and uh, I live just outside of the Ottawa area. It's called Oxford Mills. And uh, my background is a registered nurse. I also have a degree in statistics. The statistics I don't use unless, well, actually I do use it in Mary Kay. I like it when Mary Kay gives us stats. And um, maybe that's why I'm good at crunching numbers for people, I don't know. But <laughs> um, so I have been in Mary Kay 17 years. I got in because my husband's sister was a consultant and I had a party to help her out and we were living in Calgary at that time and uh, had no inkling to do a party or nothing. It was just strictly to he help out my future sister-in-law and uh, get to know her a little bit better. And at the end of the party, my nursing friends were like, Carol, why don't you sign up so we can buy from you? Uh. Right, what am I doing? Um, so I did, and then we got, I don't think I attended a meeting that first six months, and then we got engaged, and I wanted to get married in Ontario, because this is where I grew up. And uh, I grew up on a farm with three younger brothers. Uh, I was a big tomboy, makeup was not my forte. I'd rather um, go help my dad cut wood um, than go to, you know, out with the girls. So um, this was totally out of my comfort zone. Um, so my parents didn't have a lot of money to make, to pay for my wedding. So that's why I really started Mary Kay was to make extra money to pay for my wedding. And I pretty much did. 90% of my wedding was paid for by my Mary Kay sales. And after I got married, I'll never, we got married in October, like the beginning of October. Uh, we've been married now for, it'll be 15 years this year. And uh, I was at a fall retreat that our national had. And it was like, I think Sylvan Lake. We were at a camp. And my national came up, her name's Marcia Grobetti. She's retired now. Um, and she came over and sat beside me at lunchtime at a picnic table. And I was scared. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna talk about to this woman, right? And um, she says, you know, Carol, I, I, 
I've seen your numbers. You're a good seller. Do you think maybe, and I think you'd be a great leader in Mary Kay, do you think you could maybe just do one more party a week and see where it takes you? And then at that time, I was like, you know what? What have I got to lose? I was selling product. I was meeting new people. Um, I was growing confidence. And, um, and I, loved, I loved to sell and make the money. So I had nothing to lose. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice one day not to have to do 12 hour night shifts. And so that was in October. And I think I had, I think I had seven people on my team at that time. And by November 1st, I, all it took was her to have that belief in me. And by November 1st, I went into DIQ and became a director four months later and earned our first car. So now we are, you know, going forward 14 years as a director and um, my, my Mary Kay has not been all, all these high, high mountains, just like the rest of these girls. And I want you guys to all know that we all experience low valleys. And it was in my darkest valleys that uh, my passion for Mary Kay grew. And I'm going to tell you this because I don't, I'm going to tell you this because this is why I stuck with Mary Kay is the, is the sisterhood. And um, 11 years ago, I lost a son to a genetic brain disorder. He lived for 31 days. And it was my Mary Kay sisters that came to the hospital, to the NICU, brought us food. My national drive 14 hours, her and her husband drove 14 hours to his funeral. That's when I knew I was working for a great company of women that cared. Because in the nursing field, women can, they're, they're so stressed and overworked that they're at each other's backs all the time. And it's sad. It really is sad. And so, um, unfortunately, two years later, you know, they said it'll never happen again. Try to have, an, try to ha try again. And we were blessed with twin girls, but unfortunately, they were born with the same genetic disorder. And again, it was my Mary Kay sisters that were there for me. Um, my national really knew my mom really well by then because they were talking every day wondering what the updates were on on us and um we decided to pick up and move after they passed away uh from calgary to ontario and i had i had a sister in every province that called me and said you're not staying in a hotel you're staying with me when you pass through and i said i have my husband, I have a 28 foot U-Haul, I have a trailer with a car and another car and my mom, and they said, we don't care. And uh, every province, you know, like, where do you get that? And I would never have met these women if it wasn't for Mary Kay. And so um, I am here to tell you guys that, yes, there's great money to be made, um, but let's get to the heart of something that is really special about Mary Kay is the sisterhood that you will never find in any other company. I don't think you'll ever find it in any other company. And we need to work together and um, share this, why we're here, um, so that we can pass this on so that other women can believe that this does exist, that there is a support system like no other and you know even during COVID I've gone back part-time to help in the nursing field things haven't changed in the nursing field they haven't you know uh, people who you think should be leaders are not stepping up to be leaders and I am so proud that in Mary Kay we have Linda Rose who has stepped up to be an amazing leader and all the directors have stepped in to help you guys. Um, we're special and we just need to tell more people about it, guys. We're very special. People have no idea. If you can just ha say, give me one minute to tell you a few things about Mary Kay, they'll be blowing away. They'll be blowing away.
so you know yes seven cars are great and seven diamond rings and we just hit our first 300,000 club and yes they're all great but it's the people you guys are going to meet even in this circle here that are going to be your best friends just like I have found my best friends here and um, that's the coolest thing that's the coolest thing all right so we have like I said we do have a huge list a lineup of topics but if you guys have topics make sure that you want to share with us in the comment section and we'll have them written down and try to get them all in but I am so thankful to you know when I asked these five directors if they would participate with me that um, they saw my vision my vision is to become a national area my vision is for all of you to um, experience the unit circle and you know 500,000 I was like uh, my this year 500,000 is my goal and uh, I'll tell you look when I made that goal later that day I messaged Nancy Boucher who I met as a team leader she is from the Ann Newberry area and she does a million I don't know how many years in a row a Sherry down in the states uh, I voxed her to tell her hey, your Canadian friend did 300,000 for the first time. And she boxed me back and said, congratulations, 500,000 is next. And I had literally just wrote it down on my board that day. The hair was standing up on my arms. So there's people that believe in you and I want you guys to know that, that we're all here to believe in you, even if you don't see it yet. We will pull you on our tailcoats. We will pull you along the way. Um, but if you're willing to learn and you have an open mind, we've got some great directors in this group that's gonna show you the way. All right. So I'm excited. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you every Sunday night, same time. And I'm gonna leave Diane to Lead us with some inspiration tonight. How about that? <laughs> I'm so excited, so excited with all of you guys here together because I always used to say strong, um, together we are stronger. So we are. Um, yesterday we had like such an amazing meeting with Diana and but like when she was talking uh, for who knows her, people know like she's against social media her entire life like she's always talking it's not about social media it's face to face now with this whole pandemic she was forced to do something different so she's like doing training with us three times a week she's doing meetings she's doing parts online with us so it's just being so amazing and yesterday during this um this training she was talking about when you go to take a picture Sometimes it's things like so, such a small, simple things that we can get a big lesson. And she was like, the features that you have on your phone when you go to take a selfie, you have a feature that now you can blur it, all the surrounds on yourself, right? You just focus on your face and then everything on your back, it's going to get blurry, right? So the same thing, it's like we are now just at the beginning of this amazing new year that we have ahead of us. If we just take like a picture of that future and then we focus on what you want, everything else will be blurred. And your folks will be just on that point. Like for example, Carol just said about the 500. Her folks will be just on the 500. So the, thing, the, the quote that I kind of wrote, it's saying like, today is the new beginning, a chance to turn your failures into achievements and your sorrows into goods. So no room for excuses. And this for me, it was really very powerful because normally at the end of the year, the seminar year, what we normally do, it's like we just look back on all the goals that we had and the things that we didn't achieve. We just suffer, we just 
have like a big pain about the goals that we didn't achieve and then we celebrate just a little bit the achievements that we had and when i was like hearing that i was like yes we cannot think that we just had a failure year even though we didn't it, it was my goal like the 300 the circle of achievement the three stars it was my goal the triple star i achieved a lot of other goals in my personal life but i didn't achieve these goals and Kristen Sharp, it was just saying that her goal, it was bigger and she didn't achieve, but she achieved other goals. So we have to understand that it is all, always a new chance. And now at the beginning of this new year, it is the biggest chance to just like put in a paper everything that you want to achieve this year and go to it, fight for it. Don't put any excuses just forget about the excuses because if we look for them we can find thousands of them all the time so just clear your vision and let's go together awesome 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 thank you diane um so i hope we've inspired you guys a little bit and i look forward to knowing you guys a little bit more i look forward to learning from all these fabulous directors and, um, you know, if you have not done a vision board or a goal poster yet, please make sure you get on that. Um, and let's say, let's say, you know, within two weeks, make sure you, by, by the time seminar rolls around, make sure you have sent that to your, to your director. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to leave you guys with, you know, I tried to get the song Lean On Me for you guys, um, but apparently the audio wasn't working on it. But you guys know that you can lean on any of us directors. It's your, your safe circle. And directors, I want you guys to know that anything you guys have, and we are in that comfort zone where you guys can ask anyone, too. We're all here for each other. Okay, so have a fabulous night. Have a fabulous week. And uh, we will see you next week. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you, Carol. Thank You're you, welcome. Carol. Awesome. Okay.